Looking for something to do fun with the kids? How about the splatter room? You're gonna love it, come on, let's go. Hello, hey, we've all been to craft stores, right? Looking for something to do with the kids. You gotta buy all the stuff, bring everything home, makes a mess in the kitchen. Uh-uh-uh, not anymore. I found a spot where you can get splattered and it's craft fun for everyone. Wonder if this means bring your own Bob. I'm ready to get crafty. Hey, Shannon, how are you? Hi, how are you? So what was the inspiration behind this business model? Well, the inspiration for this store is basically all the crafts that you pin on Pinterest that you never get around to, that you don't have the supplies for, um, you don't want to make a mess in your house. We have them here. It's almost like set up like, I want to say a restaurant, because you do yeah. have food, you have coffee, it's mm -hmm. a BYOB. Yeah. Great opportunity, date night. Oh, yeah. Something to do with the kids, right? Mm -hmm. At birthday parties. Yeah, everybody can pick a different project. So if somebody's really in the mood to sit and just paint and relax, they can do that. And their, you know, their kids can make a fairy garden, a dinosaur habitat. They can do, uh, you know, fiber arts. We have candles. Wow. We have a lot of different things. How does it work? Do I have to pick all the supplies myself? No. So basically, we kind of have everything in a kit. Everything here. I can make, I love the Scrabble, that's cool. Yeah, and then obviously you don't have to do that, you can do your own name, you can do, you know, it's, they all vary, and it's, you know, sometimes people will come with a big group and they're like, I don't know how to craft, I'm not crafty at all, and I'm like, all right, do a mug. You know what I mean? Like, we have mm -hmm. stuff for the people that are just here to hang out. So I pick something out, you give me the supplies from this side, and we go to work. Yes. So what's going on over here? Well, they're going to be doing an acrylic pour. So basically, an acrylic pour is something that looks like this. Now, we personalized it with our favorite team. Oh, yeah. You know, obviously. Um, you mix your favorite colors, and then you put it in a cup. You don't mix it up. You keep it separate. You ready to get messy? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. And this is a dirty pour. A so dirty basically, pour. you put that on top. Flip it, uh -huh. then you lift it up. Uh -huh. You can lift that, because she's got the gloves on. And then just move it around. So I guess I shouldn't wear my best clothes when no, I come here. No, definitely not. This is not the place to wear nice clothes. What are they doing over here? Well, a lot of times people just want to come in and relax. You know, they have a day off from school, rainy day. You can come in, grab a little craft, paint it. You do all these projects at mm -hmm. home, it's all left in your house. Yes. You come here, you get messy, and you go home to the clean house. Exactly. Love it. What did you pick? The penguin. Oh, that's a good one. All right, who wants to get splattered? Me! Follow me, let's go! So, messy is you're good. gonna have a rain poncho, you're gonna have boot covers, and then if you want extra protection for your quaff, a shower cap. Okay, let's go, let's get dressed. Okay. Does this make me look heavy? It's almost like a living art installation. So this is all paint? Mm-hmm. The people, oh my gosh. It's inspired by the painter Jackson Pollock. Okay. He kind of was one of the first people to do what they call action painting. So you just kind of what, stand here and just? Yeah. Oh, sorry, you walked in front of me. Ah! Hey, George, you want to come in? Come on, George! Come on, George! They're crazy in there. Get me out of here! Oh, oh hold it. I'm going to stop and get some candy on the way out. Bob, you forgot your painting. 